What are you looking for, Chris? This. It was right where I left it the last time we. That's how we cooked. All right. Great. No pressure at all. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Don't apologize. I just thought you wanted to know right. a second. Well, we can get rid of it. We don't need to. Don't. I am both, and he'll tell Antonio what's going on. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> Then let me go. Uh, 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 not really. I want more. I want more. Oh, run out. Alone. There are no parents or teachers around to cause interference. So, may I have this dance? Hey. Hey, yourself. If you heard something, where are you?、Uh, just call me, or are you downstairs in in the lobby or something? Just let me know where you are, because I'm I'm kind of worried. I hope you like this stuff. Sight. Antonio, I didn't see you out there. I just took Jamie in for some final tests. Yeah. That from you. Oh no no no! That's from the Sugar Plum Fairy. She's been sighted in the vicinity. Oh yeah. Oh, so you better open up a case file. I know I'm on it. Well, she's gonna love it. Thank you. I wasn't sure if she was into dolls and that sort of thing. No.、Yeah. I never was. Hmm. Seriously, a tomboy. Yeah, you have no idea. I see. Well, Jamie, Jamie is a bit of a mashup. Mashup. Um, it's、uh, kind of like you know.、Um, Salsa meets jazz. Oh, okay. A little bit of me, a little bit of her mother. She amazes me. 
Well, if you can be talking about music and bash-ups, then clearly your daughter is on the mend. Yes, yes she is, and Jessica and I will be taking her home tomorrow. Will you stop looking at me? Well, will you stop being beautiful? Okay, Nash, I'm serious, please. Oh, come on, what's wrong? Oh! Nothing. See, that's what I thought. I thought we were pretty darn good twice. But you know what? If that's not enough, I could keep going. I smell I'm like, like you. Oh, you might smell bad. No, no. We shouldn't have done this. We should have waited. Waited. We have been waiting for weeks. You know what? If we'd waited any longer, I would have been out of town and you would have been back with that. With my husband and my two kids. Trying to heal the family that I hurt instead of ruining it forever. Something to drink or something to eat or anything? No, no thanks. I'm, I'm good. God. I don't know how to do this. Do you? Not a clue. Three minutes. You know, that's the quickest I ever argue with emotion. No kidding. Why so fast? Well, I was I was arguing for a continuance, and judges hate giving those out because they think they drag out the case. So, so I figured if I talk really fast, I'd give the impression that I'd keep things moving along, you know. Did it work? I got the continuance, and I got the acquittal. That's you. Go for it and get what you want. Not always. What are you drawing? Uh, it's... Can I see? Sure. Wow. <clears throat> Look what you can do in three minutes. Less. Well, it's easy to do when it's something you love. in your GSA? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't speak Lamo. Where's Amber to translate? Haha. Ha. I'm peeing myself. I know the feeling. Watching you chase after a guy who'd rather be devoured by feral dogs than be anywhere near you? It's a laugh riot. Is that some of your geeky sci-fi? Because I haven't met a guy like that on the planet. Oh, really? Because there's one right over there. Please. Okay, but only for one dance. That's all I'm asking for. I'm sorry, but this isn't going to work. We have to dance like this. <laughs> That's much better. Want to do it together? Oh, yeah. That's positive. My life will never be the same. I want kids. I want kids too. I'm not like this. I mean, I wanted to be married. And I wanted to be ready, you know? We'll work it out. Go ahead. I'm so glad your kid's gonna be okay. Yeah. Well, we dodged the bullet. Well, everybody needs a run of good luck sometimes when your life gets crazy. My life's getting crazy? I mean, in general. Really? Okay, 
You've been in a mood. How so? Antonio, I work with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, I... It's obvious there's been stuff on your mind. And it's obvious to me that you're dancing around something that you want to tell me. Okay, is everything all right with Jessica? What kind of question is that? Well, what happened at the adoption hearing, it's kind of an open secret at the station. I'm not trying to pry. I, I suck at ignoring the elephants in the room. There is elephant in the room. I mean, it's just that Jessica and I have a few things we need to work out, that's all. Okay, did you? Excuse me? Look, I have zero tact when it comes to this stuff. I just, I want you to know where I stand. And where is that? If you need to do any unloading, you can unload on me. Well, I appreciate your concern, Talia. But Jessica and I, we're fine. And Jessica's not the problem. All right, would you try to relax? <laughs> well, that is kind of hard when I'm just picturing this really prime spot that I have worked out for myself in hell. All right, well, you know what? Then you better slide over, sister, because you know what? I'm planning on toasting my buns okay. right along the side. I really don't understand how you can be so blasé about all of this. I'm not being blasé about this. Really? All right, but the last thing I want to do is to even put, like, a, a sad face on the face of that little girl, Jamie. But if I'm coming across as overconfident, that's my job. Okay? That's what I'm here for. To be confident. To let you know that I love you. That you're doing the right thing. Yes, this way people are going to get hurt. Yeah, most... But this way, everybody's going to get hurt too least. Mostly us. No. Just think about it. Imagine you actually do go back to Antonio, right? And let's imagine that he knows how much you love me because he does. You think that he's going to be happy being married to a woman who's in love with another man? No, he's not. It's the best thing to do. I want you to remember that when you're doing the hard part. Leaving him. Leaving him. I can't believe this. I can't believe I'm really going to do this. Okay. You ever jumped out of an airplane, you know, skydive? Yeah, shut up. No, 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 I'm not being glib. Go with me on this. No, Nash, I've never been skydiving before. Okay. All right, well, the first time, it totally blows your freaking mind. <laughs> no, 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 I'm serious. I mean, you know you got this shoot, and it's supposed to work, but somehow you just can't get your head around the fact that you are 10,000 feet up in the air, and you're dropping like a bag of bananas. And the time you see the ground rushing up at you, it's like, holy crap, man, I'm going to die. But you know what you don't? You got your shoot. It's above your head. I promise I'm not going to let you fall. All right? I got you, babe. So what does it say? It's negative. It's a big deal for nothing. Yeah. Well, I mean, if, if it had gone the other way. Yeah, I know. My mind was going like a million miles an hour thinking of every different scenario, you know, like what I was going to do about work. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. And for once, I'd have to hold a nine to five. Yeah. And then I'd have to move. I couldn't raise a child in, in this apartment. Oh, for sure. I want my kids to live in a house. With a patio. With a backyard. And a fire pit. So we could camp out, you know, with well, marshmallows. Camping? Oh, oh, don't worry, don't worry. We'd be close enough to civilization where you could use your blow dryer and <laughs> all your other electronics. <laughs> what electronics? Got carried away, didn't we? Yeah, for two people who never plan on being pregnant, we uh, put a lot of thought into it. Well, the way I pictured it, it was a lot of we going on. I mean, I couldn't do it alone, Christian, and I wouldn't want to. And and for two parents that aren't, you know, that still, still want. I mean, I'm, I'm just saying that we, we would have had to really work together, you know. Do you think we would have gone back together? Okay, so if Jessica's not the problem, what is? You know, all this kind of curiosity is a little strange coming from a woman who likes to keep her business on the lock and key. Uh-huh. Okay, it's not curiosity. No. Antonio, I think of you as a friend. 
Look, you can only work with someone for so long before you start to think of them either as a friend or as an enemy. And I sure don't want you as an enemy. Well, you don't have to worry about that. Like, you can call it personal interest if you want. I just think it's important to check in with my boss slash friend mm. every once in a while. I see. And make sure you're okay. Okay. Look, there is a situation that's affecting my marriage, but I will deal with it. First thing I gotta focus on is getting Jimmy home safely. Awesome. Okay. And then what? And then I fix things with Jessica. The first thing I gotta do is get rid of Nash Brennan. You know, I like this airplane analogy because right now I would rather jump out of a plane than go and tell Antonio what? What? That, that I, I love him, but I love you more, and I've cheated on him, and now I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Yeah, no, that is a little bit blunt. But, you, you, you know, let's, uh, let's go with the best case scenario. I really think that once he's had time to process the whole thing, and he, and he incorporates the whole integration thing, you know, I, I think it'd be cool with it. Cool with it. Are you crazy? What choices the guy got? And, uh, Nash, <laughs> this is... The worst possible betrayal that I could ever do to the life Antonio and I built together. And no matter how I spin it to him, that's how he's going to see it. Yeah, we were pretty off. Yeah, uh -huh. we were. I, I can ride out him being mad at me. Okay, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about what happens after he's finished being mad with me. You don't think he hurt himself? No, I don't. But I think he hurt you. Bitch, ain't it? Sorry, don't speak, hippie. Where's your unwashed family to translate? Oh, I'm happy to. Start out there with Cole while you're benched on the sidelines. That's several kinds of payback. Clear enough for you, Bratney? Get that from your seventh grade joke book? At least I can read it. Now Henry can rest easy knowing that his competition's found someone better. Oh, oh, no, wait, that's right. He can't rest because he's going to be up all night doing your homework while you're here getting dissed. Do you think he's going to be upset when he finds out he exists only to serve you? That insect needs to learn his place. I want what I want. And what I want is for Henry to be my school slave, for Cole to be my sex slave, and for you to jump off a cliff. Well, then you better be nice to your school slave because you're never getting Cole. <laughs> Watch how jealousy works. What is Britain doing? Oh, she's being the slut that she usually is. I can't even stand and look at her. Better? Yes, much. Thank you. She's like such a dork dancing with you like some random girl. Well, this is the way it has to be. Yeah, because of our parents. I mean, you're not the go-along-to-get-along type star. I think, you know, they really have done a number on you. Look, Colt, you know that the only reason why I'm even acting like this is because my dad almost tried to kill you. Yeah, I can protect myself. Cole? God, this situation is so impossible. I, I love my parents, but... You what? I want to kiss you so badly right now. You can do it. Um, how's the party, baby? You see, I knew it. I knew you would change your mind about me being here. No, no, no. I just wondered if um, your dad tried to contact you at all. No, he, he hasn't. Isn't he with you? Um, you know, our wires got crossed somehow, and don't worry about it. You, you just have a good time, okay? Uh, okay. Bye. Is everything all right? Yeah, it was. Uh, it was just my mom. She's acting really crazed. And I'm over it. Cool. Well, so obviously our one dance is over now. But you can still have that kiss if you want.
Did I just hear you threaten a civilian? No, come on. What? You gotta get rid of Nash Brennan. You know what I meant by that. Well, what happened to just making things work with Jessica? Still putting my family first. Oh, you're putting them first by going after that clown. Look, I can't get into details, all right? But some of the issues that my family is dealing with only exist because of Nash. All right, Jessica's problems, Jamie's accident, all of it. Jamie was hit by a car. The bottom line, Talia, I have to protect my girls. And I get that. I do. I respect that. But the way you're talking, it makes it, it makes this sound like it's going to end up in sirens and lights. I'm going to send a message. Oh, so. sp spoken like a true ex-con. I don't have a family. And I have no place telling you what to do with yours. You're damn right. Okay, but the situation... It's got domestic disturbance written all over it. And who's going to explain to your little girl why daddy's being let off in cuffs for decking daddy Nash? Or worse. All right, look, you know, I, I, I just think that everybody blows this whole Antonio's bad temper thing way out of proportion. He's not a maniac, you know? Okay, first of all, I'm not everybody. Second of all, I never said he was a maniac. But he is protective. He's protective over the people that he calls family. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, well, even if things do end up being like what you call a beat down or whatever, you don't, don't got to worry, I'm going to be fine. Don't brush this off. I'm not brushing this off. It is just that you and Bree seem to have this amazing, rejuvenating power over me. I mean, look at me. Look at me like I'm looking at you. Yesterday, I was leaving town. I was out of here. I had nothing to live for. Now, I got a beautiful girl and a beautiful little girl. And a purpose. You know what that purpose is? Do you know what that purpose is? Yes. What? That purpose is to make the two of you as happy as you make me. Okay. When I'm done telling Antonio, I will, mm -hmm. um, I'll meet you at the cottage. Too far, too late. Roadies, halfway, midnight. We'll do this right. We'll start with a toast at midnight to you and I. The first moment of the first day of the first forever of... I love you. I know. No, you don't. You don't. Because words cannot describe the profundity of how I feel about you. I don't need your words, Nash. I got you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you don't stop kissing me, I'm not going to leave. I have to do this. So. Midnight. Roadies. Roadies. And then we'll go home. Okay. Home. Our home. Our home. Now that's what I'm talking about. Would you have wanted to get back together? Well, that's what I asked you. No. no. Now you asked me if I thought we would get back together. Oh, wait a minute. And the difference is... Hello. Evangeline, it's Blair. Blair? Uh, hi. What's going on? Um, I was just wondering if, if you've heard from Todd within the last hour or so. Todd? Uh, I thought you guys were together. I, I thought you'd be on your way back from Chicago. Yeah, well, we were, but then he got a lead on his son, so we decided to stay and check it out. Oh, well, that's, that's wonderful news. Did anything pan out? Well, uh, we were waiting for a call. I fell asleep, and when I woke up, he, he's gone. How long ago was that? Well, I was asleep for about, I'd say, an hour, and he could have left at any time. Did he leave a note or anything? Todd doesn't do notes, Evangeline. Okay, Blair, I wish I could be of more help, but I have not been in touch with Todd, and if he calls me, I will definitely call you. All right, well, I appreciate it. Todd in trouble again? I don't know. Maybe. Perfect timing.
Why? Because, Cole, you might be used to getting pounded on the football field, but I'm not, okay? What are you talking about? This! What we're doing! Talking? No! Me being with you and then not being with you. Me trying to stay away from you, but then running into you at unexpected places. And me trying not to think about you, but then thinking about you for ten seconds while I see times me. I feel like some type of evil punching bag or something. Yeah, who's doing the punching? Me? You? I don't know. Everybody. I just... I want to kiss you so badly that it hurts, Cole. Oh, that's all you can say? How about this? No. Cole, because... Because then both of my parents will kill you, and I already broke my promise to them by dancing with you. Well, then I'm already dead, and this is the afterlife of Warren Love. So what's the problem? This is not funny. I'm not laughing. What do you want from me? I want you to let go of me. I have to get him. Must be Henry, Brittany's other boy toy. Are you hey, Britt, why don't you put on speakerphone? Then you can all talk to her. Oh, shut up. Bye. Hey, hon. How's, uh, how's my paper coming? It's done. I can come see you now. Oh, uh, no. No, it's like avian flu or something. Really bad. <sighs> Garrett must have a really strong immune system then. Oh, uh, what? Someone sent me a picture of you and Garrett. <laughs> You're at the party. You lied to me. So I came to support Heather. It's really not a big deal. Are you using me to write your paper? Oh, no, Henry, of course not. Then you won't mind if I delete it. There. No, don't. All gone. Looks like you're going to have to work with me if you want to pass. Sorry, maybe I should never talk about the guy again. Hey, you want to rule out the subject of Todd? It's your call. Because I'm the one with the problem, right? No. No, I have a problem too, Christian. But if you and I are ever going to even be friends again, we got to talk about it. We've we got to deal with this. I mean, from the big stuff down to the little pet peeves. Oh, Todd isn't a pet peeve. Okay. Sorry, bad choice of words. The point is there's, there's baggage between us. It's, it's keeping us from even being friends, and, and we should clear it out. Yeah, believe me, I'd love to clear Manning out of the way. Yeah, well, I'd love to clear Blair out of the way. So talking about them, it, it can't be taboo. I mean, what if I'd been pregnant? But you're not, are you? So why does any of this matter? So that's it? I mean, now that I'm not carrying your child, what, you have no use for me? My friends have a little more faith in me than thinking I'm going to cross any lines here. All right, they don't do the job that we do. They don't see what we see. How otherwise good people go wrong by taking things too far. I could far. send a message to Nash without taking things too far. Well, from what I hear, he's pretty thick-headed, especially when it comes to Jessica. Look, what do you want to hear, Saeed? That if I can't reason with Nash, I'm not going to get physical with him? I want to hear you say that you know your family needs all of your attention and all of your focus to make things right. God only knows what my life would have been like if my parents had realized that. I didn't mean to speak out of turn. No, say please. Please say what you got to say. You love Jessica. That'll be enough to fix it. Forget about the other guy. He's not you. He's just some wannabe. He's the father of Jessica's child. <sighs> you know, I'm sure some people look at you and they think they've got you all figured out. Son of Santi. Hothead is just as likely to throw a punch as he is to say hello. Don't prove them right. And don't, don't vindicate Nash. Thanks for, the, thanks for the advice. You're welcome. Give my best to Jamie and to Jessica. 
Hey, Saeed, uh... Thanks. You dropped something. Here. Thank you. It's really beautiful. Thank you. Excuse me. Things at the office. Um, better. Um, how's Jamie? She's good. Yeah. Here, turn around. Um, actually, I, I can't wear that. I have to get back to you. Come on, come on, pick up the phone. Cause I'm not leaving you another message. Forget I said that. I, I didn't mean it. Okay, then why would you say it? Because I'm all screwed up, Evangeline. I'm all screwed up. I just went from this fantasy life of being a dad to just... to just being me again. Well, obviously we're both more disappointed than we're letting on here. I don't know. It's just... it's not easy. God, it's so hard for me too, Christian. I still want you in my life. I just don't think I could do that and not be with you. Yeah, me neither. I'm gonna go. Thanks for uh, letting me in on this. Sunshine on me and wipe me from your brain? Would you just please shut up? Or are you just gonna keep lying and tell everyone you don't give a crap about me until you actually believe it? If you really think that, then you don't know me at all. And I never thought you would say you love me and then not want anything to do with me. Oh, I'm sorry, but it has to be this way. You didn't just delete that paper. It'll be better this way. You know, if we write it together, the paper will sound more like you. <laughs> Are you brain dead on top of being a loser? Why do you think I even let you be seen with me? So you'd write this stupid thing for me. But Brittany, you just said... I lied. And anyone who said they like you is just using you for something. Get used to it. But I care about you. You're a skid mark, Henry. Don't call me again. You are so dumb. Really, Brittany? What are you going to do about just it? Just watch me, all right? Oh, really? Bye, Heather. Come on, Langston. We got to go. All right. Bye, Brit. Well, what do you mean you don't you want to I, give it back to me? It's a, it's a I gift. can't keep it. Uh, okay, well, you're obviously upset, and I know it's not about a piece of jewelry, you're wrong. so what is it? It is. It's about that necklace, and it's about everything else you gave me that I have to get back. And if you had gotten to the quarry sooner last night, I would have given it to you then, but then we wouldn't be doing this, and you'd already know. Know what? When I left Jamie's hearing, and I went to the quarry, I wasn't alone. Rudy's at midnight. Oh, Manning, yes. This is my desk. Wouldn't be room for a paper clip. Oh, no! It would be edge to edge to edge to edge corners, pictures of my pretty girls. My pretty girls. 
Tune for scenes from the next One Life to Live. On the next One Life to Live. Todd, are you in here? What if she doesn't come at all? Well, then it means she's changed her mind. I need a doctor! I need a doctor now! Watch weekdays on ABC, weeknights on SoapNet.